Recently, workers at a warehouse company in Liverpool heard something strange coming from their cardboard dryer. Tiny meows were heard calling for assistance from deep within a recycling bin. The workers knew something wasn't right right away. The business immediately phoned the RSPCA, which dispatched a team to assist. After some searching, they discovered a tiny opening at the end of the shipping container, which revealed the face of a mother cat. Somewhere behind her, she could hear the mother's kitten pleading for aid. More cardboard was stacked inside, and it appeared that the mother cat had gone into the container to give birth before being imprisoned. Without access to food or water, they had probably been stranded there for days. Company workers disassembled the machine in order to release the mother cat and her youngster, and Brooks later joined them. The three of them spent hours sorting through cardboard in search of the two imprisoned animals. There probably wouldn't have been much air because it was so hot. Mum had evidently been attempting to care for her newborn kitten while going without food for at least a few days. They could have perished from the heat or from cardboard that fell on them. They worked all day and into the night before having to take a break and return the next morning. When they did, they discovered that while the mother cat had been able to escape thanks to their advancement and was now free, her youngster was still imprisoned within. Rescuers had to work very carefully and wait for a time before they could eventually reach the kitten, who was subsequently given the name Biff, and bring him to safety. His mother had vanished by that point, but RSPCA rescuers are still searching for her. Along with two other abandoned kittens named Chip and Kipper, Biff is now safe and secure and receiving treatment. He has through a lot and nearly didn't survive, but he never stopped meowing for assistance, and today he is surrounded by all the love and care he could possibly need. Thanks for watching.